Empire actor Jesse Smollett is now in custody in Chicago. He is facing a felony charge for allegedly filing a false police report claiming that two men attacked him in a hate crime last month. Defendant Smollett further detailed that he wanted Abel to attack him, but not hurt him too badly. The scratches and bruising that you saw on his face was most likely self-inflicted. The stage attack lasted 45 seconds. We have evidence that we have the check that uh, he used to pay the begin tonight with a man whose political future was brought by bright rather by many standards a candidate for Fort Bend County Commissioner who once worked in the White House well he has been arrested the Fort Bend County candidate who was charged last month for allegedly faking racist social media posts against himself is under investigation again for and, a similar crime yeah a new search warrant filed by investigators this week claims that he impersonated a district judge on Facebook in fact it's the one who was initially assigned to preside over his first case okay so we have another Democrat claiming they were beaten up by right-wing extremists come to find out it was all a lie and now he's facing charges this is Hisham Ayad from Ohio now on October 22nd 2023 this 20 year old man said that he was the target of a hate crime now, the story goes like this. Ayad said he was walking down the street, minding his own business. Then a SUV slowed down and approached him. He claimed there was a white man behind the wheel and the guy started saying things like, kill all the Palestinians and long live Israel. Now, Ayad said the intimidation didn't stop there. He said the driver turned his vehicle around and accelerated toward him with a chilling scream die the driver allegedly struck ayad leaving him injured on the side of the road now emergency services allegedly quickly responded to the scene transporting ayad to the nearby hospital now because of the nature of the injuries and this alleged hate crime this led the cleveland chapter of the council on american islamic relations to demand an investigation into the event and issue this press release CARE Cleveland seeks hate crime probe after vehicular assault on Palestinian American by drivers shouting, kill all Palestinians and long live Israel, with a picture of our friend Ayad. Now, before we go further on to the story, let me introduce you to CARE or the Council on American Islamic Relations. Here's a 2015 news clip from Megyn Kelly explaining what they do in the background. The biggest Muslim civil rights organization here in America is CARE, the Council for American Islamic Relations. But what does this tell us about CARE, which was an unindicted co-conspirator in a terror trial, which has been labeled a terrorist group by the UAE? Right. Well, CARE sprung from the Muslim Brotherhood and the Brotherhood's Palestinian organization, Hamas, in the mid-1990s, around 1993. Mm -hmm. And its purpose is to be an apologist for Islamic supremacism. So it's not a civil rights organization. Well, it styles itself as one because that's very appealing in the West. Because and, they're and, smart. And it's worked. So the media refers to them as a civil rights organization. They almost never talk about their checkered history. So as you can clearly see, the organization CARE has a very, very, very checkered past. Now, a quick word from this video sponsor, Shopify. Okay, so selling a little or a lot of Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha -ching. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your own online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the we did it, we just hit a million order stage. Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person point of sale system, Whatever, wherever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading e-commerce platforms. And sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Now, Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States and is the global force behind companies like Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen. Millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries use Shopify. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success at every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. 
Okay, so sign up for a $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com forward slash Nate the Lawyer. Go to Shopify.com forward slash Nate the Lawyer now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com forward slash Nate the Lawyer. So the people at the care organization demanded that police look into this hate crime and arrest anyone involved. So police did. So the first thing police did was review video footage from the area and talk to any possible witnesses. The video showed that Ayad lied about being hit by a vehicle and also lied about the racial slurs. Now, this made things even more confusing because Ayad was clearly injured. So how did that happen? Well, police found video of what happened to Ayad. Come to find out, he was in a violent fight with none other than his own brother. And that was confirmed on surveillance video. So after the surveillance video, police then took Ayat into custody and charged him with making false statements, falsification, obstruction of official business records, domestic violence, and assault charges. They also arrested Ayat's brother and charged him with domestic violence and assault. So Ayat essentially lied about there being a hate crime lied about some random person saying they're gonna kill Palestinians. Matter of fact, the person who beat him up happened to be his own brother. So now the brother's arrested, both of them are facing charges. What did the Council of American and Islamic Relations say in response? Here is CARE's official statement on this hoax. Update. Hate crimes pose a serious and escalating threat to the American Muslim community. When we receive credible reports of such crimes, we report them to law enforcement and ask for an investigation, which is what happened here. In this case, the reported victim was hospitalized with severe injuries, leading further credence to his allegations. We do not know anything about the latest developments other than what law enforcement has publicly alleged against the two brothers, who are represented by their own legal counsel. If false statements were made about this incident, that is unacceptable and should be addressed by law enforcement accordingly. In the meantime, we strongly condemn those anti-Muslim extremists who have already flooding social media with hateful messages that dismiss or even justify the very real rise in threats against American Muslims and others who support Palestinian human rights. Now, we are starting to see a rise in these fake hate crimes. Obviously, Jesse Smollett comes to mind. But even the one more recently here in Texas, where this guy Patel claimed that there was this massive hate crime campaign against him on Facebook. And come to find out, he did it to himself. He literally pulled a Jesse Smollett on himself. That video has over a million views. Check it out if you want. Now, the care organization has refused to acknowledge this was a hoax and continues to support the brothers, even though there's video of them beating each other up, even though there's video that shows that none of this actually happened. It's easier to promote the lie than tell the truth. Now, the question is, why does this keep happening? Because people see a benefit into doing this, right? Jesse Smollett, he saw a benefit into saying that he was attacked by evil Trump supporters because he knew he'd get money, he'd get sympathy, and he was trying to get, to get a new contract. Look at the guy Patel from Texas. He was trying to win his county commissioner seat, and he thought by telling people, hey, I'm being attacked by all these racists, that would help him get money and get votes. And this guy, he was beat up in a fight with his brother, and instead of just saying the truth that he was injured in a fight, the bring out the evil white man and some trucks screaming some things that make me feel like I'm less than an American. And all of a sudden, you got a hate crime. And this national organization is telling everybody that he was hit by a car because he was Palestinian. And interestingly enough, they haven't corrected the record. They haven't said this was all a lie. And the reason why is because they know if they say that, they lose money. They lose credibility. They can't tell the truth. But I can. Now, many of you know I was a cop, a prosecutor, law professor, and now a legal commentator here on YouTube. And my cases have been covered in the national media, like this story in the New York Times. Now, many people message me asking me for legal help. So I gathered the best legal team in the country to help you. Now, if you've been injured in an accident, visit us at natethelawyer.com or contact us at 571-NATE-LAW. 
we handle many different types of cases from hair relaxers that contain harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, or if you're a first responder who is using the aqueous film forming foam that's been linked to cancer, you should contact us as soon as possible. Now we specialize in accidents, medical malpractice, and defective drugs and products. So why choose my firm? Well, the consultation is free, the advice is free, and we only get paid if we recover on your behalf. Our experts will guide you through the process and simplify everything to make it easy for you to understand. So visit natethelawyer.com or call the number on the screen to speak to a legal professional today.